Well, you're quite right that she has spent a great deal of her time as a champion of human rights and particularly women's rights. Um, and so it is quite disappointing for her to effectively give out the the Dubai line on, on what has happened. Um, she seems to have completely overlooked um, the last nine months. She clearly didn't uh, engage with the UN or any other body before she uh, went out to, to, to meet uh, Sheikha Latifa. And all we know is that she spent a few hours with her um, and has uh, made the point, um, as, as we've seen in the photographs and, and in her interview, um, that she is a troubled young lady. Uh, of course, if, if she has been, as we believe, abducted at sea, taken back and again uh, imprisoned for nine months, then of course she's going to be a troubled individual that needs help. But we need to hear from her. Um, but I, am, I, I, I can't give an answer as to why Mrs. Robinson would allow herself to be used in such a way. Well, we, we haven't heard uh, from uh, Sheikha Latifa since March uh, of this year. Um, but does your firm have any uh, knowledge of, of how she is, of her well-being? Absolutely not. The, the last communication we have is obviously through Radha Sterling, who, who Latifa contacted uh, when Indian Coast Guards were boarding the, the, the Nostromo, which is the, the US flagged yacht that they were escaping on um, in March. Um, the United Nations Working Group on Enforced Disappearance has repeatedly tried to, to get information from the UAE and the Indian authorities over the last nine months, and they have refused to engage at all. No statement has been issued. And it wasn't until on the eve of a, uh, a highly critical documentary by the BBC that the first statement came out. And then obviously okay. two weeks after that, we have this.